Hello, today I want to show how to prepare your model uh, for Quarry uh, with uh, Adobe Mixama. Um, for example, we take uh, models from Sketchfab. Sketchfab have tons of uh, different render models. You can find uh, some characters uh, and download this. For example, we take uh, this uh, and we, we use FBX. You can check uh, some uh, supporting formats when you press upload character and you can check what need FBX or OBG or in zip format. And we select FBX, simple download this, and then go to the Adopt Mixama and simple drag and drop to this area and upload in this model. And after some seconds, we, we can. The model, yes, and we need to check what's your model uh, rotated by by face uh, view and select next, and then uh, put this points to your character by this visual tips and and then select and next and waiting some I think 20 seconds maybe for this model uh, maybe two minutes okay I think it's more fast Yes, it's done. Okay, uh, now we can check our model. I think it's a good result. Yes, its model has some strange deformation for hair, but okay. I select next. And also you can check this different uh, animation from Mixama library and then it needs to uh, press to download select FBX or FBX for Unity and download this and what's next then we open Quarry and in query, uh, if you default scene, we can select all and delete this, and then open main menu and open shell folder. Uh, shell it's a tool to uh, get some uh, objects, tools. Uh, to your scene and you can go to import folder if it's a folder on your uh, hard drive for example now we press the import folder to open this folder in uh, windows explorer and then we take this download models and put to this folder and after that go to query and now we can find our models on this import help one moment i activate uh play mode for a more smooth result and we can uh simple take this model and put on the scene or for example you can select this button spawn options and spawn at center to spawn these models in perfect scale 
for our check view uh, model size, you can uh, take um, default box primitive. This primitive has size matter per, per method by all axes. And now we can activate a gizmo tool and touch to this move gizmo to switch scale. And you can uh, check size for this model. This model has a uh, five and half meter. Okay, it's her for this model, I think. And what's next? Uh, now we have a model we can manipulate with this model, but only with uh, simple uh, uh, move and rotate this bonus, but it's not a uh, more faster way to animate this. And now we can add IK system. For add IK system, you need a pro like you need to attach to toy bond and press to this uh, select button, long press, to open this context menu. And then we need to select IK, uh, leg IK. And now we have a leg IK for this leg. We can manipulate with this leg by one controller, and we have a uh, second controller to rotate uh, elbow, and Yes, I take uh, leg IK and uh, we can create uh, IK for arm IK. You can animate uh, arm simple by update this bonus like a pro key match at K, but you can also add IK system. You need to touch to uh, first finger bone on next update. Uh, of query you can uh, apply it to directly to head bone or to hand bone but right now we need to select this bone IK and create arm IK and we are okay this to create arm IK okay it's for and you can control uh elbow you control uh, this hand and this arm IK uh, to rotation for color bomb to have a more natural result. For example, this look this arm IK and I add simple IK to this. No. IK, simple IK, yes. And you can see what if I uh, move this hand. Uh, well, uh, this look very strange, but this armor key look more natural. And in next update, uh, query, in query we add control to color bone and you can animate it uh, also without uh, automatically. Okay, it's, it's work and you can animate this, you need power timeline, this real time animation or auto key. For example, you can uh, set up pause in full body mode and create um, new frames or use real time mode to animate something in real time. And create animation for your character very fast. Uh, this, this timeline, this slot, and this ID. Cool, thank you. Uh, I think it's uh, all about how to prepare models with Sleep Summer. It's a very good way to very fast, maybe guilty, but very fast uh, editing your models to query to create new scenes, servos, animatics, or uh, what you want to uh, create in virtual reality with characters. Cool, thank you. Bye.